incredible DMX backdrop. Enter Iron Mike Tyson. You know he's had a huge embrace for mixed martial arts. I didn't think we'd see him compete in this setting. Hope he's going to work on his takedown defense. Yeah, he's going to need it. Iron Mike's going to need to be able to stay upright if he wants to give himself a chance. But if he's on his feet every second of the fight, Mike Tyson has the ability to knock you out. Imagine a guy that can put you out with 10-ounce gloves, landing with four-ounce gloves in the UFC octagon. Mike is fast, Mike has great setups, and Mike has a meanness about him that not many others have. You better be careful fighting Iron Mike Tyson. He is ferocious, and seemingly the speed and power are still there at his advanced age. Mike Tyson trying to make headway here in the UFC tonight. Mike Tyson has stepped inside the octagon. Tyson looks ready to fight tonight. Well, a lot of fans have come out to see this man throw hands here tonight. You can argue he has some of the best boxing in this division. But fighters are a sensitive lot. It's like every time we put over his hands, he feels like we're saying out of the other side of our mouth that he's not well-rounded. That's not the case. No, we're not calling him limited at all. We're not saying this guy can't do everything. But it, what pops off the page is his hands, his hand speed, his power in his hands. His ability to set up his hands through his feints and his movements. He can do so many good things in the boxing realm that you lock in on that thing. But make no mistake about it, this guy is very well-rounded. But ultimately, it will be his boxing yeah. that will allow for him to be successful. And defensively, certainly he's not going to be confused with Pernell Whitaker, but he moves his head very well, manages distance exceedingly well. Sweet peace. And stylistically, oh, sweet peace. Sweet peace. So All good. time ago. Oh, May he rest in peace. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, third Great party fight. in the octagon Great. tonight. All right, so as we get the stand-up only fight underway, just a quick reminder on the rule set, no grappling or wrestling of any type, and fighters also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. That punch didn't get through. Great defensive skills on this play. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Oh, nice right hand. Both guys still truly trying to find their range. Nice jab there by Tyson. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Tyson's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Just over three minutes to go now. Green gets caught by that straight punch there. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. That was a jab. Nice job by him defensively there. Back and forth we go. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets it. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. 
nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. He lands a solid punch there. Ooh, I, I don't do that as well as you do. But man, he's coming out swinging tonight. He is bringing the heat. This dude is trying to end this night early. Can you give us an ooey, please? Ooh-wee! <laughs> <laughs> so good. Power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Relax, relax. Oh, on the inside. He's out. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. How about those five minutes? All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and an opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. Second round here. Straight to the body by Tyson. Slips. And again to the body by Tyson. Just out of range with the big right hand. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Clean punch. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Both fighters throwing heat now. Green's blocking pretty well now. So an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to fight. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Tyson gets caught with that punch. Well, DC kind of just played by that. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Slips. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Oh, big left hook there. Now, standing back. Another five minutes coming up. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets.
from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off Ready. of the canvas and Go. tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Oh, nice jab there by Tyson. Just a slip there. Sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, big left. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Green's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Punched by Green. Oh, nice inside kick. Oh! And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Green's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. I need more out of you. So that punch, no good. Tyson's. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Missed with that right hand. Man has his chin been tested early. All right, let's go inside the octagon now. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 27 seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by knockout, Iron Mike Tyson! So Iron Mike Tyson getting it done in the UFC yet again. I know a lot of people had some pause when he transitioned from boxing to mixed martial arts, but the proof is in the pudding. Another big win for Tyson here tonight. And now you can start to think about matchmaking this guy moving forward. He might draw some names in the top five. Huge win for Mike Tyson with the odds stacked against him here tonight.